All right, so when are you done milking a cow? When have you gotten enough milk out of the teats to call it done for the day? Simple. When you hand strip for 15 seconds and there's a cup left. Okay, let's kind of break it down a little bit more and make it more simple than that. Okay, when we first start milking the cow and she has a full udder, the teat cistern and just above it up here in this cistern is going to feel firm, kind of like a muscle. When you get more up into the actual udder itself, that's also going to feel firm. But down here is the most important part to fill because this is what we're actually going to be stripping the milk from. This is all just tissue up in the actual cow. Okay, so why is it important to know how much milk to take out of the cow per milking? Well, it's simple, to prevent over-milking the cow or under-milking the cow. The issues with over-milking the cow are when we take too much milk out, especially with the machine, because what that can lead to is it can lead to teat end damage, hyperketosis, or it can lead to a pressure differential, a reverse pressure differential between outside of the teat in the actual teat uh, cistern or between the teat cistern and up in the actual udder which is going to cause reverse flow of the milk from the machine or the teat cistern up into the actual udder which is where you're going to get bacterial infections or bacteria to go up into that udder and cause mastitis so for the health of the cow it's important not to over milk and not to take too much milk out of the cow and same thing if you consistently under milk the cow that's going to affect your yields because it's going to signal to the cow she does not need to produce as much milk and when you're hand milking it's fairly easy to tell when the cow's done because your hands actively always on the canal or on the udder itself when you're machine milking you need to be a lot more vigilant and look at the actual flow into your machine Flow rate is going to be the best way to determine when the cow is done being machined milk. And then when you're done, come and actually put your hands on the cow itself. Okay, so these are what the udders are going to look like when you're done. Instead of that nice, firm, hard rock, they're going to be more like a flabby piece of fat. And fairly easy to actually get your hand around, squeeze, and manipulate. So that's the difference between at the beginning and the end of a milking. Now let's talk about that 15 seconds and a cup left in the udder. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a collection jar. And don't worry... The stuff coming out of this collection jar is not going into what I'm going to be drinking. And then I'm just going to hand strip each quarter for 15 seconds.
And after doing so, and I don't actually have a clock watch, you should have about a cup left into the in the cow. So I'm looking, I only have three quarters, so I should have about three quarters a cup. I'm about right at about half a cup. So I slightly over milked this cow this morning. But this is what it's talking about, or what I was talking about at the beginning, when at the end of the milking, you should be able to hand strip each quarter for 15 seconds and have about a cup left in the cow.